it starts with a tickle in your nostril, a light sensation, no pressure or pain, just a tiny presence your breath passes over, floating the inside of your nose. You sniff, wipe your nose, the simple action barely registering. The movement takes a couple of seconds at most and is one that you might perform dozens of times a day, never thinking twice. You feel something wet on your hand and look down. The fluid is red. As you stare, you feel something sticky pooling in the rim of your nostrils. Small rivulets test the edge of your philtrum, held in place only by their own viscosity. You pinch the side of your nose immediately. A few drops of blood have squeezed out and you feel them splash on your hands and lips. The fluid left outside your nostrils begin to dry, leaving a red stain. But the bleeding doesn't stop. You feel the pressure begin to build as veins leak their cargo. Your fingers begin to feel sticky. And when you tilt your head back, Blood trickles down the back of your mouth. You try to sit as still as possible, keeping your hands steady. The clots slowly forming tickle the inside of your nostrils, an itch that is impossible to scratch. Time passes, and you begin to wonder if you've waited long enough, if the wound has been repaired. Over the course of multiple minutes, you slowly release your fingers, leaving red marks on your skin. Then slowly, the flow resumes. A small stream pushing past the clotted blood, brushing your nostril hairs. The gap is not yet fully sealed, and the liquid stubbornly refuses to solidify. You put your pan back in place squirting out a small jet of clotted blood. You resign yourself to waiting longer.